Good evening, everyone. Good evening to all of you. I hope I am audible and visible to you all. Quickly confirm me, guys. एक बार बता दीजिए कि आप लोग मुझे सुन पा रहे हैं देख पा रहे हैं कि हम लोग लाइव हो चुके हैं सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट दिस सेशन एज यू कैन सी दैट दिस सेशन इज अबाउट आर आर बी पी ओ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन मेमरी बेस्ड पेपर द पेपर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ हाय गाइस हेलो प्रभुद प्लीज कंफर्म मी क्विकली इफ आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल टू यू ऑल यस रिशा बी सेइंग यस ओके सो आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल टू एवरीवन हियर गुड इवनिंग अलाकिया गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन गुड टू सी यू ऑल इन द इवनिंग ओके ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस सेशन एज यू कैन सी दैट ओके फाइन सुमित फाइन so as you can see that this is going to be about memory based paper of 2021 that came in rrb po examination so of one shift okay okay madhurima so we are going to discuss paper of one particular shift ek shift ka hum log paper dekhne ja rahe hain see there were 40 questions so of course it is not possible to discuss all 40 questions here but uh, yes uh, in one or two session of course we will discuss the complete paper okay so let's start this session Uh, and in this session we will discuss rc also only one rc came so we will discuss that rc and one or two more sets of question we will say wa alaikum assalam baba good evening okay let's see quickly this is the question now please all of you concentrate on this the question is here and i hope we have practiced a number of questions based on this pattern kafi questions hum logo ne practice kiya hai go through the sentence and i want each one of you to be active in the comment section hi prabhakar hello everyone now please concentrate on the question previous years paper help you a lot even though it is memory based but these will help you a lot okay saurav sinha get uh, yes sanjay you are in you are already in saurav gave the answer a elakya also gave the answer a everyone please take this i want your answer pattern is not new for you we have discussed in this pattern in yt session also and in regular sessions also everyone is coming with a prabhuda is saying c okay sumit varma is saying a sanjay also a everyone is a okay fine let's discuss this question coming to that okay let's discuss this question what it is saying do you know all the possible meanings of the word hatch first let me know sanjay who takes dinner at 8 pm tell me aaj ke date mein koi 8 baje dinner karta hai kya okay now please that is hatchet madhurima bury down the hatchet not bury down the hatches okay that is another idiom bury down the hatchet okay now please Uh, let us discuss all the possible meanings of the word hatch hatch is a very common word but still all of you are incorrect sabke answers galat ho gaye and this is the paper of rrb po as you know ki rrb po ka paper jo level hota hai wo baki exam se thoda sa level kam hota hai okay yes so hatch in first case we use for laying eggs to come out of eggs okay hi raghav hello everyone so hatch words we basically use for laying eggs or come out of eggs that is the word first meaning of the word hatch it's okay raghav okay this is the first question we are discussing so it's okay 
clear to everyone this meaning every one of you know this here this hatch word is used as a verb yahan par hatch word as a verb use hota hai okay but when we talk about hatch as a noun hatch word can also be used as a noun and as a noun hatch word means opening or door of a aircraft of an aircraft opening or door of an aircraft or ship okay i am coming to all the possible meanings hatch as a noun means opening or opening or door of an aircraft or ship ship mein aapne dekha hoga jo opening hoti hai jahan se hum cargo wagera pass karte hain that is also called hatch hatch we also call to the door of aircraft or spacecraft usko bhi hatch kaha jata hai okay so this is uh, this is the meaning of the word hatch as a noun hatch word we also use for plan a conspiracy hatch conspiracy we always say as a verb of course question will be tricky hatch conspiracy okay so hatch a conspiracy that is also very common usage of the word hatch hatch a conspiracy we use clear to everyone now tell me is this sentence correct or incorrect the usage of hatch in this sentence is correct or incorrect martin immediately proposed rushing the hatch as soon as it was opened can this refer to any door can't it refer to the door of an aircraft or the door of a ship quickly let me know kya first sentence mein jo hatch word diya hua hai kya kisi door ya opening ko refer nahi kar sakta of course it can refer and the usage is absolutely correct most of you came up with the answer that a is incorrect okay so the usage of hatch is in a part is correct and we have to find the sentence in which word has not been properly used wo word jahan wo sentence jahan par is word ka proper use nahi hua hai to we have to identify that sentence so first is correct second as waiters brought trays of meat the guest reached over and harvested the pink slices with their bare hands popping them down the hatch is there anyone who knows who knows the meaning of the word down the hatch sanjay what are you talking about ye pattern nahi padha in your daily sessions yt session regular sessions i have discussed this pattern vocab based question aap dekhiyega same pattern i have discussed okay down the hatch is an idiom and i hope you all might be aware of this meaning meaning of this word anyone who knows the meaning of this word idiom basically down the hatch ka kya matlab hota hai पता होना चाहिए आप लोगों को आई होप सो सी डाउन द हैच इज एन एडियम जिसका मतलब होता है जब भी हम लोग ड्रिंक वगैरह करते हैं तो उसके पहले जो फ्रेंचियर्स करते हैं ना सिंपली जो फ्रेंडली एक्सप्रेशन होता है वेरी गुड यस व्हाट इज दिस प्रहलाद पांडे एरर वाली क्लास प्रहलाद वी आर डिस्कसिंग आर आर बी पीओ मेन्स पेपर ओके आर आर बी पीओ मेन्स पेपर वी आर डिस्कसिंग मेमरी बेस्ड पेपर वी आर टेकिंग सो डाउन द हैच इज फ्रेंडली एक्सप्रेशन बेसिकली वी यूज दिस जेस्टर बिफोर ड्रिंकिंग एंड ऑल ओके गुड इवनिंग आलू समोसा गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन ये डाउन द हैच फ्रेंडली बिहेवियर सो बी ऑल्सो द यूज इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट इट हैज बीन यूज इन द सेम कॉन्टेक्ट इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट नो सी इज वी हैव टू बैटन डाउन द हैचेस नो दिस इज अनदर इडियम no elakya this is a special session not every day not every day we will have this is a special session now batten down the hatch is another idiom now very good question the word is very basic but the usage is excellent excellent usage okay batten down the hatch it hatches is an idiom which means be prepared for the worst be prepared for the worst now go through the sentence and let me know whether the usage is correct or not with there no problem you can continue we are discussing the first question only ab dekhiye yahan par kya kaha ja raha hai in c sentence it is given we have to batten down the hatches and prepare for the worst of course we have to be prepared for the worst and that is the meaning of the sentence hmm. in second you can say that friendly expression before drinking in second part you can say okay 
Buried the hatchet is different thing. Batten down the hatchet is different thing. Okay, hatches. It is hatches and there is hatchet. Don't get confused, Mathurima. So in C also the usage is correct. A, B, C. Be prepared for the worst for the difficulty. That is yes, C. Now D. If you run after two hairs, you will hatch neither. Now is it making any sense? If you run after two hairs, कि अगर आप दो खरगोशों के पीछे दो hairs के पीछे भागते हैं, तो आप कुछ भी hatch नहीं करेंगे. तो in this sentence, this sentence is this hatch word making any sense? क्या इसमें कोई sense दे रहा है? Quickly everyone. Not at all. No, it is not making sense. So here instead of hatch, it should be catch neither. Very basic. If you run after two hairs, अगर आप दो चीजों के पीछे, this is also an idiom, ना? We say कि if you will run after two things, you will get nothing. कि दो चीजों के पीछे भागेंगे तो आपको कुछ नहीं मिलेगा. So here the usage of hatch is incorrect. It will be catch. So the answer is D. Very good question. See, hatch word is very basic, very common. But the usage, all idiomatic usage has been given here. Okay? Clear to everyone? Now, let's see the next. What are you talking about, Prabhuda? Yes, it will not yield. Yes, if you will run after two years. Yes, correct. See, in sentence C, batten down the hatches is an idiom which means be prepared for the worst. Okay? Prepare, for, uh, prepare yourself for some difficult situation. That is the meaning of the idiom batten down the hatches. कठिनाइयों के लिए खुद को तैयार करके रखना ओके यस प्रभु दाई गॉट यस यस यू विल हैच नथिंग यस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेम पैटर्न क्विकली एवरीवन प्लीज बी एक्टिव इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सेकंड क्वेश्चन दिस इज रिटर्न इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ओनली दिस पार्ट इज रिटर्न बिहाइंड मी this is written investments. Please be active in the comment section. First of all, tell me, do you know the meaning of the word given here or not? Because if you know the meaning, you will be able to solve. Meaning pata hoga, tab to dekhenge usage. Agar meaning hi nahi pata hogi, to you won't be able to see the usage. To pahle sab loong mujhe bataiye, are you aware of this meaning of the word guilt? Achha, Prabhuda is saying skip. I am telling you the meaning, then tell me the usage. Okay, no. I am telling the meaning, then you can see the usage. Guilt word, basically it refers to gold plating. Gold plating. In Hindi we say, na, ki sone ka pani chaha de na. Like, agar hum koi bhi cheez leke jate hai, no, uh, metal ki cheez hai, yes, covered with gold leaf or gold paint. Correct. Gold plating, you can simply say. Covered with gold paint. Thin gold paint. Cover with thin gold paint. Okay. Generally, Hindi mein we say ki in usage ki ispe sone ki pani chaha dena. To sone ki pani chaha dena, just that is what guilt. Okay. And guilt is a type of security also. Ye bond type ka bhi hota hai that is issued by UK government. It is a type of security or bond that is issued by UK government. Now tell me what, what will be the answer. Sanjay, jaldi baadi mein galti nahi. Yes, you can say. It is used basically as an adjective for decoration and all. I have told you one more meaning of the word guilt. One more usage of the word guilt. So please go through the sentences carefully. Dhyan se dekhe sentence ko. Ki kya matlab hoga? Alu samosa C. Rishabh E. See, I have told you the meaning. Mm, Gaurav Gautam, difficult hai ye to thoda to hoga, but still when you know the meaning, to you will be able to do that. See, again, it is not necessary that you should know each and every word of the sentence. Ye jaruri nahi ki sentence ka har word aapko pata hi ho. Scotchans basically we call to a type of door, door handle and all. Okay. Same passage. Incorrect usage you have to tell. Incorrect usage. Prabhakar Kumar gave the answer. Very good. Sai Kumar also gave the answer. Now see, 
द सीलिंग वॉज रिचली गिल्ट एंड पिक्ड आउट इन वॉयलेट इट कैन बी यूज रिचली गिल्ट मीन्स इट वॉज कवर्ड विद गोल्ड प्लेटिंग वी कैन से गोल्ड पेंट और गोल्ड प्लेटिंग सो दैट इज करेक्ट द यूसेज इज करेक्ट इन द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस बीन एन अनडेटेड प्राइस लिस्ट रेफर्स टू हैंडल्स स्कॉच प्लेट्स एंड हिंजेस ये सारे जो है पार्ट हैं डोर के अश्विनी इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू विल ऑलवेज गेट अ वर्ड दैट यू नो द मीनिंग जैसे हैच की मीनिंग आपको पता है गिल्ट कैन बी अव वर्ड बट जनरली वी गेट सच वर्ड जिनकी मीनिंग हमें पता होती है बट दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्ड कैरी सो मेनी डिफरेंट मीनिंग सो यू माइट नॉट बी अवेयर ऑफ ऑल द पॉसिबल यूसेजेस बट वन और टू यूसेजेस यू माइट बी डेफिनेटली अवेयर ऑफ इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो दीज ऑल आर द पार्ट ऑफ डोर हैंडल्स स्कॉच प्लेट्स एंड हिंजेस अवेलेबल इन निकल प्लेट और गिल्ट फिनिशेस हियर ऑल्सो गिल्ट इज यूज फॉर दैट डेकोरेशन ओनली गोल्ड प्लेटिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट Scotchens, I told Madhurima, it is a kind of door, uh, door handle and all. It is a kind of that only. Scotchens. Next, it has cabriole legs. Cabriole legs is a type of leg in we use in furniture. Headed. Of course, if you do not know the meaning, you should skip it because if you don't know, and you don't know the, you haven't heard of this word, so definitely you should skip this question in the examination if you do not know the meaning. Okay. With gilt brass winged lion mask, so here also gilt has been used for that plating only, coating plating. So this is also correct. Gilt as securities are the most sought after investment. As I told, it is a kind of security. It is a kind of a bond used for yes, Vab. Used by issued by UK government. So here also the usage is correct. All are correct. All are correct. Since you do not know the meaning, so none of you attempted. Now let's move on to the next question. Now this I hope each one of you should be able to do. ये सब लोग कर लेंगे. I want hundred percent accuracy in this question. ये तो सबने सुना है. Very doable question. Quickly, everyone. Now after this we will take RC. Okay, I got one answer. Vabha Kaushik. Others, very good. Prabhuta gave the answer. Everyone, please hurry up. Be active in the comment section. Elakya also. See, out of four or five questions of this pattern, one or two will be difficult. Now, this one is very easy. Yes, correct. Okay. Now, see, you know the meaning of the word beer. it can be used as verb also it can be used as a noun also so bear as a noun you know it is an animal bear as a verb means tolerate okay bear as a verb means what tolerate so the schools will heavily bear the consequences of tax cuts absolutely correct they will have to tolerate the usage is correct many people pushed their way towards the bear exit is it making any sense bear exit ye koi exit hoti hai kya so instead of bear exit what should it what should be here correct correct very good everyone now instead of bear exit can we write rear exit yes so bear exit is something that is not making sense here so of course the usage in b is correct incorrect usage in b in is incorrect next she bears a she bears a striking likeness to her mother this is also correct okay i will have to bear the responsibility for this mess i will have to tolerate i will have to uh, take this responsibility so this is also correct the usage in a c and d is correct only the usage in b is incorrect so the answer is b okay now after this we are going to discuss rc reading comprehension how about not at all web how if you use bear instead of bear it will completely change the context it will change the meaning also you cannot do that thing not at all okay now see those who are new those who have joined our channel for the first time so it is humble request that please subscribe to our yt channel okay press the bell icon and if you have not downloaded our app please download it okay and those who are attending the session most of you are attending this session complete english course panacea batch because here we discuss complete english that is relevant for each and every banking examination from basic till advanced everything we are discussing here okay so you can definitely join this batch and 
if you are interested in buying any course on our platform if you want to join us so the best course is banking super elite you can buy this plan because here you get access to most of the mock tests because abhi dekhe bahut sare exams launch honge bahut sare courses launch honge basically exams ke notification aane se so definitely you can use join this batch and you will get access to all the courses and mock test so barely and bear both are different na vaibhav bear and barely and bear both are different completely different how can you relate it with b e a r tell me and here if you use my code saba s a b a you will get additional discount okay and those who have not joined my telegram group they can join this group learn english with saba for updates on my classes complete english course means from pre till advanced level from very basic till advanced level so everything we will cover there everything everything banking dream banking dream everything i will cover there okay from basic till advanced and you can also join this session ask your doubts i'm sorry that i couldn't share the link i just forgot okay okay fine yes yes madhurima everything will be covered in panacea batch because duration is uh, there no and you will get right now we are discussing grammar topics and everything but in the end you will get multiple practice sessions in this and you will get practice session of most most of the topics okay and you can use my code saba if you are interested in buying any course on olibot platform so please do use this code saba because additional 5% discount you will get agar kahin pa 40% discount hai if you use this code saba you will get 45% discount okay uh, validity is for 6 months madhurima validity is for 6 months see if you are interested in joining any course on olive board i will definitely recommend that join super elite because if you join super elite you can join panacea batch aage koi bhi batch aane wala hoga you will be able to join that batch so i hope that will be better for you okay now we are going to discuss rc reading comprehension i want each one of you to be prepared and as i told in the previous class rc may first i will show you the question 6 months classes will be till we cover the syllabus because 5 days every day we are having to till 2 months we will have for 2 months okay now so as i said we will start uh, we will i will first show you the question go through the lines of the questions and then we will come to the passage okay clear to everyone validity is for 6 month prabuda so this is the question mostly based on data the complete passage you will only get to see numbers 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 percentage but anyhow very doable passage har koi 100% accuracy leke aa sakta hai just you need to be a bit attentive thoda sa dhyan dena hai that's it okay so this is the passage first go through the questions quickly but don't give the answer now this is the question Upar to I have written the line from the passage for your reference. Don't go through these lines. Just start reading from here. Which of the following is a perfect synonym to the word curb as used in the passage? Okay, this is vocab based question. कि curb word की synonym क्या है? Next, this question. This is the question. What is a potential harm? No meaning now. No answer now. Okay. What is the potential harm that may affect the present ongoing recovery in the power sector? What is the potential harm that may affect the present ongoing recovery in the power sector? So this is the second question. I am not discussing answer now. Choose the best antonym to the word robust as used in the passage. Two vocab questions. First synonym, second antonym. Antonym of the word robust. Next. The second wave of COVID nineteen had which of the following consequences? Okay, coming. Let me see what is asked in the question, Prabuda. The second wave of COVID nineteen had which of the following consequences? Okay, so this is next question. And then, which of the following phrases would best replace the phrase highlighted in sentence marked one in the passage? Now, this phrase is highlighted. You have to say that which phrase can highlight this. and the last is 
what can be the best title now here title has also been asked so you have to go through the passage carefully harrier clear to everyone title bhi pucha gaya hai to aapko bahut dhyan se passage ko dekhna hoga so shall we start the passage Where, how, why are you giving the answers? First, go through the passage. ये गलतियां मैंने बार बार बोला डोंट डू दिस मिस्टेक कभी सही होंगे कभी गलत होंगे ऑलवेज हैव अ गुड प्रैक्टिस द पैसेज इज बिफोर यू प्लीज करेक्ट करेक्ट वेरी गुड नाउ प्लीज गो थ्रू द पैसेज क्विकली It may be possible. बहुत सारा डेटा है यू डोंट हैव टू लर्न द डेटा क्विकली गो थ्रू द पैसेज ओवरऑल आपको समझ में आना चाहिए कंटेंट समझ में आना चाहिए दैट्स इट डन नेक्स्ट ओके नेक्स्ट दिस इज द फ्रेज दिस नंबर वन दिस इज द फ्रेज फॉर विच रिप्लेसमेंट वॉज आस्ट सो दिस इज दैट फ्रेज सेकेंड डन थैंक यू डन आई होप डन एवरी वन आई विल एक्सप्लेन नो डॉट आई विल एक्सप्लेन द पैसेज ओके आई विल एक्सप्लेन द पैसेज नेक्स्ट लास्ट पैसेज वेरी शॉर्ट पैसेज वेरी ड्यूएबल पैसेज हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्यूरेसी यू कैन गेट इन दिस पैसेज लास्ट वन complete data is there complete passage is based on data only okay now let's go through this passage only one time i will read the passage jahan jahan se questions aapko mil sakte hain i have already written those lines before the questions okay so you will be able to relate that so let me go through the passage once i hope you all were able to comprehend this passage sab log samajh liye hain passage okay what it is saying india's power consumption grew 18.6% in august to 129.5 billion units informative informative madhurima okay very doable passage now listen india's power consumption grew 18.6% in august to 129.5 per 1 billion units and remained higher than the pre covid level due to improved economic activities amid easing of lockdown curbs by states according to the power ministry data now this is the data presented by power ministry ki power ministry ne power ministry ne apna data present uh, present kiya hua hai vaibhav we are not discussing the answer now i will come to the answer okay 
कि इंडिया पावर कंजम्पन इंडिया का जो पावर कंजम्पन है इट ग्रू 18.6 परसेंट इन ऑगस्ट ऑगस्ट में 18.6 परसेंट तक बढ़ गया था एंड रिमेन हायर देन प्री कोविड लेवल कि प्री कोविड लेवल से ये पावर कंजम्पन क्या था ज्यादा था ड्यू टू इम्प्रूव इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज अमिड लीजिंग ईजिंग ऑफ लॉकडाउन कर्ब्स बाई स्टेट कि जो लॉकडाउन में कर्ब लगे थे जो भी जो भी रेस्ट्रिक्शन थे कर्ब्स थे तो उसको जब धीरे धीरे स्टेट ने ईज करना स्टार्ट किया सो पावर कंजम्पन भी क्या हो गया बढ़ना स्टार्ट हो गया ओके द कंट्रीज पावर कंजम्पन इन ऑगस्ट लास्ट ईयर स्टूड एट वन हंड्रेड नाइन पॉइंट टू वन बिलियन बिलियन यूनिट लोअर दैन पावर कंजम्पन इन दंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो इट वॉज लेस दैन दैट इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ओके Experts say the recovery in power demand and consumption in August 2021. Now, if you remember, we got a question from this. Is consistent and robust? कि ये जो 2021 में जो power की demand है, that is consistent and that is robust. Power demand is robust, strong है. They are of the view that recovery would further improve as many states have eased lockdown restrictions to boost economic activities after the number of new cases uh, declined. Now, officials they are hoping that this recovery will improve because now after this lockdown has been eased, lockdown धीरे धीरे जो ease हो रहा है, restrictions हट रहे हैं, तो इससे क्या होगा? Economic activities बढ़ेंगी and it will increase the number of power consumption. Okay, it will increase. power consumption the only fear now see tone is changing here we are talking about economy will improve but now here it is saying that the only fear is that another wave of the pandemic can dampen this recovery in power consumption and demand they said lekin abhi bhi dar hai last year ka passage hai you know 2021 ke passage ki baat kar rahe hain to us time ka jo scenario tha that has been discussed here but still there was fear among people that if second pandemic or another wave of pandemic hit the nation then this recovery can be dampened wo recovery kya ho jayegi kam ho jayegi the commercial and industrial power demand and consumption got affected from april onward this year due to lockdown restrictions if you remember last year jo hai april se lockdown jo start hua tha okay in 2021 so this hampered this affected the power consumption imposed by states to contain contain means control to control the deadly second wave of covid-19 clear next good evening ashutosh there are fears of another wave of the of the pandemic which may result in lockdown restriction and will impact commercial and industrial demand for power in the country according to experts यू नो कि इन ड्यूरिंग पैंडमिक टाइम पावर की डिमांड बिल्कुल कम हो गई थी पावर कंजम्पन बिल्कुल ही कम हो गया था बिकॉज ऑल द इंडस्ट्रीज ऑल द फैक्ट्रीज दे वर शट डाउन सब कुछ क्या हो गया था बंद हो गया था गुड इवनिंग आनंद so the same is being said that people officials they are still fearing that ki agar koi dusra pandemic wave hit kar diya nation ko to it is going to impact commercial and industrial demand for power okay correct correct prabuda now this word peak power demand met or the highest supply in a day stands at 196.24 gigawatt in august which is 17.1% higher compared to your year ago if you compare the data of august 2020 and date of uh, uh, august 2021 so in august 2021 the power consumption was the highest okay it was higher the peak power demand in august 2020 stood at 167.52 gigawatt lower than 177.52 gigawatt in the same month in 2019 now here 2021 and 2022 has been compared the month of august and last may 2020 ko 2019 se compare kiya gaya hai the same month of august okay you need not remember all the data next showing the adverse impact of the pandemic on power demand now this data shows the impact negative impact of pandemic on the power demand the government had imposed a nationwide lockdown 
on March 25, 2020 to contain the spread of coronavirus. The lockdown was eased in a phased manner. कि धीरे-धीरे lockdown तो कम हो गया था, eased कर गया गया था, restrictions हटा दिए गए थे. But it hit the economic and commercial activities and resulted in lower commercial and industrial demand for electricity in the country. And that time, countries uh, economic activities कम थी, बिल्कुल ना के बराबर थी. That is why demand for power was also less. वही चीजें बार-बार दी गई हैं. Repetition of the same thing. April 2021 saw year on year growth of nearly 38.5% in power consumption. The second wave of COVID-19 started in the middle of April this year and affected the recovery in commercial and industrial power demand as states started imposing restrictions in the latter part of the month. 2019 we discussed sorry 20 we discussed ki march se lockdown lagata and after that economic activities they were like kam ho gai thi kafi kam ho gai thi aur power ka consumption bhi kam tha now again here we are discussing about april 2021 if you remember to april 2021 mein what happened ki mid april se fir se states ne lockdown impose karna start kiya diya tha and this impose imposing of lockdown it it affected power consumption again dheere dheere fir se wo power consumption ko kya kar diya affect kar diya Power consumption in the country witnessed 66.6% year-on-year growth in May this year at 108.8 billion unit despite a low base of 102.08 billion unit in the same month of 2020. As per the latest data, power consumption in June grew nearly 9% to 114.48 billion unit compared to 105.08 billion unit in the same month last year. Each month ka power consumption compare kiya gaya hai, that's it. Okay? Here also all data is there. Power consumption in July. June, July, August, now the only data has been compared. Okay? This year grew nearly 9.4%. Yes, yes. Yes, Prabhuda. To 123.72 billion unit compared to 112.14 billion unit in the same month a year ago. Power consumption in February this year was recorded at 103.25 BU compared to 103.81 billion unit a year ago. In March this year power consumption grew nearly 22% to 120.63 billion unit compared to 98.95 billion unit in the same month of 2020. Complete power ka description diya hua, that's it. Now you can say November, December only comparison. Even if you do not read it, you can save your time. Har bar pura unit padhne ki bhi zorat nahi hai in such type of passages which is completely data based. Because agar kahi kisi question mein data poochha bhi gya hai, to you can come to the passage, ab us year ka, us man ka data check karke you can mark the answer. You can save your time in not reading all these data. Clear to everyone? Informative. He is not analyzing anything. Just information has been provided. That's it. Informative tone, Prabhuda. Many has asked, many have asked ki what is the tone. So this tone is simply, simply informative. He is just telling you, providing you information. Okay. Now let's see the question. 100% accuracy in each question. Yes, informative, correct. Okay. I know that everyone will say B only. Curb means restrictions. Why can't retard be used? Why can't we use retard? Retard also means slow down or uh, something like that. Retardation. Quickly. Anyone who can tell me why can't we use the word retard? Simply curbs has been used here as a noun. Curb has been used here as a noun. So, here also we have to see noun form only. Okay. Restrictions. Correct. Very good. Synonym is asked for so restriction. Antonym, had antonym been asked, then we could have gone to lenient. Next. Now, this is a question. The line is written here. 100% accuracy. Yes, yes. Quickly, everyone. There is E option also that is not given clearly in the passage. Shrital, I told you all in the morning that I have one session at 8 p.m. 
This is not regular session. This is a special session. Please, those who haven't shared this video, share with others also. Jinke bhi IBPS RRB ki exam hai. And this is not going to help you only in this uh, uh, RRB. It will, it can help you in many exams. Okay. Rishabh gave the answer. Real gave the answer. Quickly, Sai Kumar gave answer. Very good. Very easy, guys. 100% accuracy you can give in this question also. Very easy. Passes dekhne mein jaroor difficult tha because it was completely data-based. And let me tell you one more thing. Whenever you find such a data-based passage, it is the most doable thing in the examination. Jab bhi aapko itne saare data kisi passage mein dik jayen, to definitely that is the most doable passage. I came across one more passage. The passage was very lengthy. Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. That was extremely lengthy passage. But all the questions were doable. Saare ke saare questions doable the. 100% accuracy de sakte the. So here the question is, what is the potential harm that may affect the present ongoing recovery in the power sector? Ki kis wajah se power sector mein jo recovery hai, what can uh, affect that recovery? Yes, yes, sir, Shani. The ease of lockdown restrictions and the increasing number of infections, not at all. Because this will not affect the recovery. Agar lockdown ease ho jayega, to it will be better for recovery. It is not going to affect the recovery. So, A is incorrect. The inability to meet our growing power demand in the country during lockdown. This is nothing that is related to the question. Iska question se koi relation nahi hai. Further recovery is expected at a slower rate than needed. Again, further recovery ki baat nahi hai. Yes, another wave of the pandemic may hamper the ongoing rate of recovery. Of course, ki people, they fear that Ki jo another wave hoga pandemic ka, it may hamper the ongoing rate of recovery. So, D is the correct answer. Okay? Okay? Next. Very basic. Opposite is asked. Within 5 seconds, I want the answer. Even we discussed this word in the last vocab session. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Since a real is saying E, both A and B. My dear, antonym is asked. Real, where are you? Synonym is not asked. Antonym is asked. Please don't make this mistake. This is not, this is antonym. Please go through the sentence. So, it will be frail. Frail means what? Weak. Okay. Next. E is the synonym, correct. Antonym is asked, not this question. Thank you, Alakya. Absolutely my pleasure. If I can be a reason behind your selection, that will be the biggest thing for me. Yes, Rabo, you told 10 minutes ago only. This answer I am asking. Tell me the answer of this question, Rabo. Yes. Thank you, Harshani. See, this is previous year's paper. Memory-based paper it is. So, we have not created it. It is just a memory-based paper. We have taken from somewhere. Okay? Madhrima, how it can be B? This is also a very easy question. No confusion at all. See, the second wave of COVID-19 had which of the following consequences? Second wave jo tha COVID-19 ka, uska kya impact tha, okay? It affected the recovery in commercial and industrial power demand. Of course, this is written here. See, the sentence I have, that is why I have written here only, the second wave of COVID-19 started in the middle of April this year and affected the recovery in commercial and industrial power demand. See, after first lockdown, economy that was recovering, economy was recovering. But the second wave, it affected the recovery of the economy. So, A is absolutely, first is absolutely correct. Okay? Correct. Direct question. These all are direct questions. 
created a lot of inconvenience for the public. Of course, the entire phase of Corona created a lot of inconvenience for the public, but it is not mentioned in the passage. In the entire passage, are we talking about the inconvenience faced by the public, Madhurima? No. We are not talking about the inconvenience. We are just talking about power consumption and COVID. That's it. Baki kisi ko, uh, uski bhi baat nahi ho rahi, kisi aur fact ki. Only power consumption and uh, COVID. Nothing of, uh, nothing has been talked about public inconvenience. Now, you don't think that ma'am, corona mein inconvenience to hua tha. You can, like, you can definitely start once you get confidence. Okay. The power generation targets touched their half potential. This also we do not know. So the question is, what had the what is the consequence? So answer is only E. That is first. No personal opinion in solving. Correct. We should not give personal opinion. Correct. Next question. Correct. How COVID has taken a toll on the power consumption sector. Yes, that is what the entire passage is talk, talking about. And this is going to help you determine the title. This is going to help you determine the tone. If the tone is the title, pushta, to definitely you can get this thing. Thank you, Harshani. Thank you. Attend the sessions regularly. It will definitely help you all. I hope you all got this sentence. What is the question? I hope each one of you got this question. Ki kya poochha ja hai? Correct. See, which of the following phrases would best replace the phrase highlighted? Now, this is the highlighted phrase. Now, out of these four, which can uh, rephrase this highlighted phrase? Okay. In a day stands at 196.24 gigawatt over August. On a day stands at, in a day stood at, in a day stood at. Now here see, peak power demand met or the highest supply. Met is what we to form. And the entire passage we are talking about past. Okay. Entire passage we are talking about past time. So of course we need past form of verb. A can be eliminated, B can be eliminated. Now, C, D and E, in a day stood at 196.24 gigawatt in August, around August, in August. Achha, here it is given from a day. So, this is also incorrect. So, the correct answer is only C. It is completely grammar. Preposition and uh, this grammar. Yes, Shetal, definitely. Uh, if you missed any part, please watch the recorded session. I hope this part is very much clear to everyone. Completely based on grammar, yes. You have to see the preposition. You have to see the verb form. That's it. You will be able to solve. Now, the last question. Now, those who say, Ki, ma'am, tone samajhne mein, title samajhne mein, we face problem. So, do you face any problem in analyzing the tone or title here? What will be the best title? Madhurima C, Real A, Vaibha A, Prabhuda C. Still, I am getting different answer. Not expected at all. There should be unanimity in the answer. Those who are saying C, are we discussing about power shortage? The alarming situation in India? Sai Kumar is saying E, none of the above. See, in the entire passage, we didn't talk about any power shortage. We are talking about the demand, shortage of demand during pandemic time. This is what the entire passage of power, the entire passage is about. Shortage of power demand during pandemic. During pandemic. Am I correct? Okay, this is what the entire passage has been discussing about. Pure passage mein yehi to baat hui ki jaisi economy recover ho rahi thi, power consumption bada tha. Aur jaisi hi lockdown impose ho raha tha, power consumption bada tha. Yes. So, the entire passage title, if you talk about, it is India's power consumption and COVID. India's power consumption and COVID. 
because we have completely discussed the impact of power consumption during covid time that's it nothing else has been discussed wo jitne bhi data the all were irrelevant for solving questions koi bhi data ko question solve karne ke liye use karna hi nahi tha and that is why i told ki if you get data based passage so even if you no need to learn the data now most of the student what they will do they will start mugging up the data there so these all things will not help and if you go through the question jaise aapne pehle question pad liya tha not even in, not even in a single question data was asked so data se to koi lena dena hi nahi tha overall jo theme thi usi se based sare questions the okay and as i told this is memory based paper to jo exam mein aaya hua tha wahi memory based paper aapke paas hai clear to everyone was it doable or not see i do agree ki every time you won't get this easy passage tough bhi aayenge but we have to practice okay aur jab jo exam hoga we will definitely take memory based paper no real prim rrb po ke prelims mein english kahan se aati hai it is a paper of mains yes make your concept clear not only with me anyhow if you want to come clear your concept you can do okay yes ma'am doable doable and it is it is like it can give you accuracy also exams ki hi to practice kara rahe hain harshani we are practicing for the exam only isiliye zyada se exam means what practice i can i can't give you a paper no sneha special session not tomorrow i guess we will have it on friday same session we will have on friday so definitely we will discuss more questions of this particular set on friday okay friday at 8 pm we have okay thank you everyone special session correct so we will discuss more mains level questions okay and since rrb examination is like uh, it is going to happen soon paid hoga na chahiye yes paid everything will be there series we are going real we will continue with that series only okay okay thank you everyone share this session with others also do like this session okay we'll meet you tomorrow morning good night bye bye good night everyone